Hi, it's Tuesday, January 18th. Thanks for joining Pleasant Hill United Methodist Church for the Upper Room Devotion. Today's devotion was provided by Bob LaForge from New Jersey. The passage suggested to read today is Psalm 111, verses 1 through 10. Praise the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. Full of splendor and majesty is his work, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his works in giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. The focal verse for our devotion is Psalm 111:10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. His praise endureth forever. The title of the devotion is Obedience. One of my daughters plays on a soccer team. At her first ever practice, the coach told her to kick the ball with the side of her foot rather than the toe. My daughter insisted that it was better to use her toe because she could kick the ball harder and faster, and she had always done it that way. They went back and forth for a while until the coach finally told my daughter to try it just once. Reluctantly, she gave it a try and found that she had more control and could still kick the ball far. She was convinced once she had tried it. God's commandments can be like that. We think that we have been doing fine on our own, and often God tells us to do something that is not easy or that does not make sense. We may squirm and try our best to rationalize why that does not apply to us because our circumstances are different. We may forget that God's desire is always for our good. God tells us that understanding comes from obedience. When we follow God's commands, even reluctantly, we experience the blessings that come with obedience. Our thought for the day is that even if it is not what I am used to, I will follow God's ways. Our prayer focus is on soccer players and coaches. Please pray with me. Dear God, may we always be quick to obey you. Help us to remember that your ways are always for our good. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you have a blessed day. God bless you.